Hello, welcome to Wingman FX, a gear review where we focus on effects pedals that players use. I'm Chad Smith from Option Dob Inc. Here today with Chris McQueen from the bands Fork and Snarky Puppy. And Chris is gonna take us on a little tour of his pedal board and the effects that he uses. Uh, roughly, how long have you been using Option Knob products? Uh, it's been like four years or something like that. Whenever, because I first used them, uh, I was on a Snarky Puppy gig um, in Birmingham, I think, and you dropped us off a couple of them, and uh, I was like, what is this weird thing that I'm holding in my hand? Yeah. And then I realized how useful it could be, and uh, so I started messing with it at home, um, because I've always, or not always, but more and more over the years, I've like gotten into adjusting effects on the fly, um, and it was getting to the point where I was spending like half the gig, you know, on my knees, like adjusting things, and like, I would finish a gig, and my wife would be like, were your pedals breaking? And I'd be like, no, they weren't, they weren't breaking. I was like doing cool things. <laughs> right. Like you couldn't tell that I was doing cool things. So, so this is like the perfect solution because like my, you know, goal is to be able to adjust sounds while I'm playing. On the fly. Not yeah. having to stop and bend over and move things around, but also like don't feel like I'm stuck with one sound for, you know. Any right, yeah, from long, the performance yeah. standpoint of view. Bending over isn't very presentable, but then <laughs> the exploratory side is what I'm really into also. Totally, yeah. I mean, so. being able to play at the same time as, as changing the sound is so cool. Like, I'm, I'm always envious of keyboard players and, you know, they can, they can play something while adjusting their, their knobs, especially on, like, synthesizers, right. you know. So, like, that's a whole thing that I've, like, always been jealous of. So it's, it's perfect for that. Like, there's, there's been some, some pretty cool, like, Snarky Puppy solo moments where, like, uh, It'll, especially like tremolo, I use it a lot. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of do, show, show those in a moment, but, but yeah, like I'll do like a tremolo thing where I make the, the tremolo like super strong and then I'll like make it go fast and make it go slow and it's like while playing. Yeah, it allows you, know. you to get custom sounds that Chris McQueen makes that not, it, people can't just hit a pedal and make that sound. Yeah, yeah, exactly. like real time. Yeah, be, awesome. you can be much more expressive and unique. So the new Wingman model, you mm -hmm. recently upgraded to that and yeah. I just wanted to ask you how you like that. Yeah. Um, compared to the previous O-Knob models. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. It was actually like, kind of did a bunch of things that I was, you know, sort of like wishing that it could do, and awesome. it's perfect. Like, uh, the, uh, the shape is, is definitely, it's smaller and like pointier, which is cool. Um, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't get in the way of things as much. There's not as much torque, like, uh, you know, if you accidentally sort of step on it, you know, the wrong way, then it, uh, there's a lot less likelihood of it messing up your, your knob, which is great. And the best thing about it is that you can pop it off, which is so cool. Um, because I was, before I was taking them off and on after every gig, which you wouldn't necessarily have to do if you had like a board that was tall enough or whatever, but, or, you know, a cover a bigger, that was a tall enough. pedal board case. Yeah. Or... So that could work, but for the situation that I had, it didn't work out like that. So it was like, after every single gig, I'd be like, obsessively taking them off and you just put them back on and you always have to make sure you put it back on in the exact recalibrate. right recalibrate it so this is perfect because you've got the little the little like nub that you put on and then that is always calibrated exactly right yeah, and it's this goes on so and, there's like, only one way it goes on so every exactly. time you're set up and ready to rock and since it is kind of d-shaped it can almost be a knob by itself like if you you know potentially didn't want to put this on for That's any true. reason like you can kind of already use it in a way that that you know with the, if you take your normal knob off, it's like the bare stem wouldn't really be that useful, but this way it actually kind of is. Um, yeah, and then these pop on like super fast, so like the setup is like, boom. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, um, let's dive into your board. It looks super fun. I can't cool. wait to yeah to check out some more of the sounds. Yeah. So um, I've got this ro this uh, Archer pedal by Rocket Pedals, which is kind of my main overdrive, and I basically like I put one on the uh, on the gain knob, so like. I actually kind of end up keeping this pedal on for most of my gigs. Okay. And it's just there and it kind of warms up the sound if I keep it low. But then for, you know, and then for different sections, I just crank up the drive and then ready to go. And then bring it back down. Perfect. So super versatile and then I'm not like having to, you know, kind of like just stick with one setting or another. Right. You know, it can kind of kind of dynamically change with the song. You go from an easy reserve tone to something more raunchy, just boom. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then I've got this uh, this WMD Geiger counter for the psychotic fuzz. I've, I've got it on the, uh, like, yeah, it's on the, like, the bit, or I guess it's the sample, sample rate? on sample rate. Yeah. Right, so it can be like. It 
can get super, super weird with that. Super custom sound, yeah. too. But then yeah. I also have one on this wavetable if I want to get like extra weird. Because, yeah, I mean, like, for for example, jumping over to this reverb one, like, um, for a lot of times on gigs at this point, I'll just leave it on all the time, and then, and then I use this as my, as my amount. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, another one of these Moog Mini Fugers, the tremolo. Oh, yeah, on the rate, or speed. Yeah, so I changed the, yeah, I changed the speed of it. Even after the reverb, so I get like a like the most the strongest effect on the tremolo possible. Oh yeah, that's a really cool effect. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, really cool nuance. Dives yeah. and. All right, thanks, Chris, again for your time Absolutely. and for um, allowing us to check out your super cool effects setup. And thank you for checking out this segment of Wingman Effects. Yeah.